What up, YouTube? It's the No Pigeon Podcast. We in the dub shack. And it's your host, Yucca. And we about to get in some motherfucking videos. But before them videos, we'll hit them with the motherfucking... Alright y'all, so we about to get into some uh, Reddit, I mean not Reddit, sorry, which one that is, TikTok, we about to get into some TikTok, but the issue, actually you know what, let me adjust the screen, this whole, this whole, there we go, that's a little bit better, for, for the Reddit, for the Reddit angles, it's a little bit better, right, but um, just a warning y'all, I might have to cut off some of these videos short, because you know how they be playing music like crazy on TikTok, I don't want to get a copyright strike. Even though we ain't monetized yet, we probably won't ever be monetized still. Some shit, they just cut your whole video off, so fuck it, let's go. Woke, offense-taking culture is that it seeks to suck the joy, the creativity, and the uniqueness out of everything. Oh my goodness. So everything, so everything has to be uniform. No. Everything has to be safe. Dominate. Everything oh, has to dominate. not offend anyone. And dominate. at the end of the day, it just let me finish. It doesn't even make sense. So let's take Augustus Gloop, for example. We're not allowed to call him a fat nine-year-old boy. But we're allowed to call him an enormous nine-year-old. He's boy. enormous. Well, that is the conclusion. But logically, if he's that enormous, he's it might be that he's very. And this is the problem. I didn't know what she was talking about. Like I understood what she was saying. She was shitting on the woke. I'm all for that. I don't know who this gloop kid is. So, to the next one. How and arrogant are you to think that you? Ricky Gervais. You know what I'm saying I'm sure I don't agree with everything he say, but when it comes to this woke shit, I fuck with him heavy. So let's go deserve to go through life with no one ever saying anything that you don't agree with or like. I, I want people to stop saying that joke's offensive. Yeah. I want them to start saying I found it offensive. Because that's all it is. You're yeah. just telling me how you feel about it. Yeah. There's nothing I mean, intrinsically offensive. Here's something offensive, Ricky. That shit started with women. The more women became in the spotlight, the more shit got offensive. Before, it would always been like, yeah, sure. So a chick would be like, oh, that's, that's inappropriate. And a dude would be like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Now it's more like, I, don't, I, I think that shit's inappropriate. Well, you're going to have to accept it as being inappropriate now because it's going to be a whole group of men that's going to check you about it too now. It's fucking weird, but... ...about this joke. It, but it's it, trying to make I'm offended sound important. Yeah. It's no different to saying I've got a pain in my leg. Yeah. But I believe you. Yeah. But there's, no, there's nothing to do with me. Yeah, but you shouldn't hurt people's feelings. Well, you can if their feelings are wrong. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Get, if, yeah. if you don't okay. like the facts, get, yeah, don't yeah. change the facts, change the feelings. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't have to pave the jungle. Yeah. You can just grow a pair and have a laugh about it. Mm. How and arrogant. <clears throat> See, like, these guys are walking out. They're too lazy to do. Oh, I know that voice. That's a uh, motherfucking, uh, um, I did a couple videos on him. The Indian dude, what's his name? Dinesh D'Souza. Is that, a, is that an Indian name? D'Souza? It do not sound like it. Anyways, I'm not going to argue with it, but let's go. Debate with me. They're not going to. I mean, they aren't. They aren't. Because I'll tell you why. Because they don't got nothing to say. I discussed this on every one of my videos. These liberals don't really have an objective argument. All they got is emotion. So they sit there and scream and yell and kick and scream like children. But they don't have an objective argument. Right? Hold on. Look, I'm here. See that fat security guard come in like he about to do something. You ain't doing nothing, man. They already on their way out. Where are you going? I, I'm here. Think about that. Like, if you respect the institution and the standards that this institution upholds, for you to say that they're lazy is kind of a bit I'm not saying that they're lazy people. I'm, institution? I'm Whatever happened to a higher learning institution of higher learning being... All about discussion and discussion of ideas and debating and arguing. Like, whatever happened to that? But you're talking about if you understood what this institution is. Do you understand? Do you young liberals understand what an institution is? Where everything is woke and, 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 and double speak and you can't even speak your mind? Do you understand what an institution of higher learning is? I'm simply saying that they are not willing to do the intellectual work to stand up face to face with me. Mm. Lil not. Yeah, I'll pass I know on that there one. are guys out there thinking, oh, 
International Women's Day? Why don't we have an International Men's Day? God bless you, Twitter. Well, you're in luck, because you do. It's actually on November 19th. But you wouldn't know that because you're too busy celebrating it every other day of the year. Why do I do this to myself? Why do I do this? I'm just doubting my own life choices. Now, I, I know there I are don't guys blame out you, there Matt. thinking... I don't blame you, Matt. That shit, that shit kind of irked me, too. It was just dumb as hell. And that's supposed to be comedy, too. That's the sad part. That, that, that is supposed to be comedy. Your name is not Jenna. Please don't assume. I am assuming. I'm identifying as Jenna. Okay, but your name's oh, Caitlin. Why are you here? No, I'm identifying as Jenna. She got me for a second. I thought she was a woke chick, but nah, she she fucking with them. Okay. My name is Caitlin. Why are you here? So as please respect me and my person. Jenna. My name is Jenna, and my pronouns are they and them. Respect it. I want you don't. Your you're a bigot. Your name is not Jenna. Please don't assume. My preferred pronouns. What do you think? It's funny how they expect you to respect their pronouns, but when, when they feel that you're trolling them, or they just don't like you, they are gonna debate your pronouns all day, right? The irony, right? What do you mean? What does that even mean? Use your brain. You're a woman. Incorrect. Okay, you, if you were, I'm gonna, I'm gonna educate you. If you were biologically born with women parts, you're a woman. I'm being educated about my gender identity. You don't know. So gender identity is a, is a lie. It's fake. Um, there's only two genders, a man and a woman. And you, you know, let me ask. Look at her. She's looking around for somebody to, 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 to double down on what she's saying and to agree with her. Oh, my God. You, you a bigot. You were this. You were that. I'm a victim. They, they, they don't really have any arguments to make. They really don't. I, I, I've debated with a few people, and they ain't really saying anything. Like, they ain't saying nothing. They really are. I got I got into a debate with someone about uh so called gender affirming care in children and how disgusting it was, and they said first of all that doesn't really happen in children. I'm like yes it does. I can show you cases, and they said gender affirming care. They equated it to uh, a mastectomy, cutting off breast tissue when a woman's got breast cancer. That's what they equated gender affirming care to. You see what I'm saying? You see the lunacy of this? But anyways, ask a question. Ha how, how many gender identities are there in nature? How, how, many, how many genders are in a line? Oh, oh. oh my goodness. No, because look, if it's natural, it should be in nature. So let me ask you a question. How many genders do a lion have? Hop, hop, hop. One sec. One how many genders do a monkey have? How many genders do a zebra have? How come human beings, if this was true and it's natural, how come human beings are the only one with gender fluidity? Because it's not true. Because human beings are the only ones with mental illness. That's why. <laughs> right? I wonder what causes it. I don't know. You know, like it's... Clearly, it, it's uh, uh, not just laziness. I was going to say uh, definitely not laziness, but uh, uh, the uh, luxury. The luxury to not have to worry about shit, right? That we, we just have so much free time on our hands. Should I put it this way like this? We have so much free time on our hands that we can sit there and delve on, dwell on, on, on nonsensical shit like this, right? We, don't, we, we have too much time on our hands. And that's, that's a luxury that men created with society. Right? True. Do horses have multiple genders? No. My preferred pronoun. She'll get Biological say. men going into female prisons. But they're, but no, they're no longer the biological no longer men. men. They're no longer biological men. Ah, uh, okay, they're fine. Women. They're women. Even if they haven't transitioned, they're still women. Okay, so it's uh, biological. So it's women that's raping women in, in the prisons, right? Well, damn. I guess women are rapists. You know what I'm saying women are disgusting. Women are 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 are, are, are um, dealing with uh, testosterone and and patriarchal nonsense, and they sitting there raping other women in prison, right? That's that's what it is, I guess. They're still women. Like yeah. if they if they're transgender and they haven't transitioned medically, yeah. they're still women. So would you have said in this instance, feelings trump facts? Would you have if someone was to say to you, what about not if you got the name Trump in it? biology and they play that card would you have said no if what, what matters is what what someone's feeling rather than actual fact like bi biological science um yeah i think to some degree because hum human emotions are incredibly complex and sure. the idea of identity is incredibly complex yeah and i think takes precedent over um just facts on a paper i think and, sure you know debating scientific facts biological men going into female prisons 
but they're, but no they're longer not, but biological they're no longer men. men. They're no longer biological men. Ah, uh, okay, they're fine. Women. They're women. Why this motherfucker don't want to go down? Oh, shit, I, I bottomed out. All right, man, pause. <laughs> oh, man, so I just wanted to test out a couple of TikToks, you know what I'm saying? See, see what it was really saying. I don't know how to use TikTok like that yet, so I'm still learning, but... Fuck it, man. This has been another one, man. Keep it short because it's late night over here. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and uh, send us some messages on all. Uh, if you got any recommendations on videos and whatnot, just holler at us. Peace.